mathematics, we often use functions to map different objects together. For instance, it is possible to define a function that transforms any integer into another integer just by doubling it. Mathematics make it possible to define a function f, but ignore a real problem. Is it possible to get the value f of x for some given x based on a sequence of operations? This property has a name. When such a procedure exists, we say that f is computable. Turing machines are an elegant theoretical tool designed in 1936 by the British mathematician Alan Turing as a solution to the problem of computability. Turing machines can be considered as mathematical abstraction as a notion of algorithm. The purpose of this video is to explain how Turing machines work and why they are so useful. What is a Turing machine? Informally speaking, a Turing machine just computes an output based on an input by following a set of rules. Just like a function? Hmm, well, not exactly. Turing machines are specific functions that are close to the well-known notions of programs and algorithms. Let's have a look at how it works. A Turing machine has access to an infinite tape divided into cells containing a symbol. A cell can contain three symbols, a zero, a one, or a blank character. The machine is able to read and write the content of any cell, but only one at a time. You can imagine it as a finger moving along the tape. At a given step, it can read the content of the cell it is pointing at and has to perform an action based on the red character. In addition, the action is also determined by an inner state of the machine, represented by an integer. As a consequence, the machine is determined by a list of rules like, if the character is a zero and the machine is in state 42, then change the zero into a one, move right, and change to state 17. One action of the machine is a bit different from others. It is called halting. It consists in interrupting the work of the machine. The output of the machine is the content of the tape when the machine halts. Look at this example. This short Python program can simulate any Turing machine. Let's try to build one. We begin by instantiating a new Turing machine. For now, the machine does not have any rule. By convention, this simulation considers that in case no rule is found, the machine halts. If we execute this machine on input 01100101, nothing happens, and the output is equal to the input. This is fine. The machine is expected to halt immediately. What if we add a new rule? Say, for instance, that in state 0, a 0 will be transformed into a 1, and the machine moves to the right, staying in state 0. This can be written as follows. What happens when we execute the machine? The first bit encountered on the tape is a zero. Since the machine is in state zero, the rule applies. The zero is transformed into a one. The new state is still zero and the cursor moves right. The next character is a one. No rule applies. So the machine halts. The output is then 111000101. Let's add a second rule. In state 0, a 1 will now be transformed into a 0, and the machine moves to the right, staying in state 0. Now the output is 100111010. Why? We can see that at each step, the machine inverts each bit and then moves to the next bit. Of course, this machine is very simple, but you can design more complicated ones. Consider, for instance, the following instructions. They are used to reverse a string. When running the machine on the input 
zero one one zero 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 one zero one. The machine outputs one zero one zero 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 one one zero. It is clear from these examples that a Turing machine is defined as a list of instructions and corresponds to a computer program. This means that any function that can be computed by a Turing machine is computable. It would be extremely practical if the opposite could be true, if any computable function could be computed by a Turing machine. Can any computer program be simulated by a Turing machine? The famous conjecture, the church Turing thesis, states that it should be the case. This means that any algorithm can be simulated by a Turing machine. Most standard programming languages are able to run any possible algorithm and consequently are equivalent to a Turing machine. We say that such languages are Turing complete. They have the same computing power as the Turing machine. The computing power of the Turing machine is even more impressive. Not only it can run any algorithm, but there also exist some Turing machines called universal Turing machines, which are able to emulate any other Turing machine. Unlike regular Turing machines, a universal Turing machine requires two arguments. The first argument specifies which Turing machine will be emulated. The second argument specifies the input. We write u of p x, where p is the code specifying the Turing machine to emulate, and x is the input of that machine. In conclusion, a Turing machine is the mathematical abstraction of a program. It is used to define the notion of computability.